Are we good service? Uh -oh. Hey, we're Hello. live. We're just live. <laughs> we, just, <laughs> we, just came. we just go live. Yeah, we just went live. Can everybody <laughs> hear us? Hello, hello. Is there anyone here? Let's, Let's test out the audio. See. How is our audio, guys? Let us know how the audio sounds. We do not have a microphone here. Yes. Pretty low signal. Oh, yeah. I just got a notification that we're live, which is cool. Hey, hey, hey now. How's everybody doing? All right. We're in Egypt. Yes. Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh, good, because we don't have a mic. Good. That's great. That's good. That's good. Excellent. We are out of the country. We are in Cairo at yes. the moment. We're in Egypt, in Africa. And yes, Egypt is in Africa. Because <laughs> somebody was arguing with me on one of my posts. Uh, two days ago arguing about i didn't argue back but they were like uh you know you keep talking about africa you're in africa but you're in egypt I'm like, <laughs> oh no 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 I'm really like, yeah egypt yeah is a country on the continent of africa mm -hmm. they didn't understand that they just didn't believe me wow they were like you're spreading misinformation egypt is in arabia they went so far as to tell you you're spreading misinformation i'm like i just try to give you an explanation like so you can know like you know but they just went on. wow they, they didn't want the knowledge <laughs> that's okay though you yeah. know everybody everybody to each his own to each yeah. his own you know yeah. it's all yeah. good i feel like i have a do I have a piece of hair on my face? It's like, no, no I'm good. good. Okay. Good. Hey, guys. I hope everybody's doing well. We haven't been live. Well, I haven't been live in a while, and you just went live earlier today. But we just got um, through with our 10-day tour yes. out here in Egypt, mm -hmm. and it was freaking amazing, mm -hmm. guys. Like, amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. An amazing, amazing tour. We It was a 10-day tour. Mm -hmm. We had 80 people. Eight zero. Yes. 80. Uh, last year we had 70 people, right? Mm -hmm. So we mm -hmm. grew by 10 people on this tour, 80 people. Yeah. We took up the entire Nile cruise. The entire boat was all the forbidden family. We call them family now. Yes. Because once you go on tour with us, you're part of the oh. permanent family. Yes, you are part of the family. And yeah. you know, like both groups, right, from last year and this year, they had the same feedback pretty mm -hmm. much and it's really cool and what that feedback is and what's so cool about the brand and the people that we attract into these tours is the fact that everybody is pretty much on the same thought wavelength right mm -hmm. so you know the weird one out the bunch the weird ones out the bunch that talk about all this weird stuff mm -hmm. you know it's us yeah. that get together and can talk about everything that is so weird to other people yeah and so the people that came not only were they so glad to be hanging out with you and hanging out with me and and learning, but they got so close to each other, which mm -hmm. is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. We had 80 incredible people yeah. having a great time talking about every aspect of consciousness and within the community. Yes. You know, whatever they were into and they had somebody to talk to, somebody yes. to listen. Right. Which was a relief for a lot of people, just a mental relief to be able to talk to people about things that are sitting on your mind that you know you can't just talk to a coworker, a family member, a friend, because they don't want to hear, you know, what we have to say. Mm -hmm. So but when you get that many people together all on the same frequency, mm -hmm. it was like a release for a lot of those people. They told me a lot of them like we just feel so relieved. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I see somebody in here that said that, you know, you must be in the money family to be joining these type of things. And and yes, I will tell you that these tours are not cheap. For the the average, I guess, whatever Income, it is. Maybe. Yes, it's not it's not cheap, but everything is a priority, guys. Everything is a priority. Look, I will spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on my health and myself, but yet I will not go out and spend at the hundreds of thousands of dollars buying bottles at the club and you know, it's like you have to prioritize what is important in your life, that right? Prioritize. So, like, if you want to join a tour one day, then save up for a year. Yeah. Put a little bit of money away each paycheck and then join us. Well, I mean, not everybody on this tour was rich. Exactly. A this lot was, of people. They were just average average income people. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> you know? Thank you. There were a few business owners, but they had most of, there was kids on this tour. Yes. Like kids meeting in their 20s, mm -hmm. right? A young man and a young woman who were... 
I guess they're in a strong uh, you know, relationship together. So they travel a little bit here and there. Mm-hmm. And uh, they just saved up their coins and made priorities. Yes. We all, at the end of the day, we all have priorities, right? So yeah, exactly. I remember when I was younger, you just brought up a good point. When I was younger, a lot of my friends would be like, man, how do you have all these nice things all the time? Mm-hmm. And this is like when I'm in my 20s, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, I was one of the very first people to come out of my neighborhood to have a foreign car mm-hmm. and things like that and, you know, a nice place. And and I was like, well, we're spending the same amount of money. It's just what are you spending your money on? Yeah. Like, you know, you guys are still buying weed every five minutes. You're buying dope. You're, you're going to clubs. You're mm-hmm. buying bottles. You're going to strip clubs. You're giving out all your paycheck on tips to strip clubs. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, And other dumb stuff that you don't need. Mm -hmm. And I'm spending my money on investments, building my personal business, you know. And so my outcome and saving and my outcome is I'm getting some uh, some extra money that I can utilize to do things that I like, like travel, Mm -hmm. drive a nice car, live in a nice place. So I sacrifice some of the things that you guys are doing, which I'm not I have nothing against it. Mm -hmm. That's what you wanted to do at that moment. Yeah. But if my priority was a different priority. So it's amazing how people always are able to manifest what their priority is. Thank you. Exactly. So all you have to really do is prioritize. Prioritize. You really, really can manifest whatever it is that you deem worthy of manifestation. Right. And this is a life changing trip. I mean, the energy here, the Mm -hmm. people that you meet, the knowledge that you get imparted with. I mean, it's 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 crazy Mm -hmm. it's crazy it's life-changing every single person on our tours from last year and this tour will agree that this is life-changing yeah yeah Mm -hmm. that's the exact word they use like the phrase life-changing yes which is amazing so and don't live in lack either and Mm -hmm. i saw somebody on here well if you have kids this is ten thousand dollars is hard Mm -hmm. yes you're right it is hard it's extremely hard i was a single mother for freaking eight years nine Mm -hmm. years single mother okay with with no help monetarily yeah. wise at all but guess what i had priorities and i made my priorities happen mm-hmm. because i didn't live through lack i didn't live through lack mindset right so think of and and just know in your heart and soul that you are worthy of yeah. something like this and manifest it because mm-hmm. anything is possible yeah. live get the, get the lack mindset out out of your head mm-hmm. because once you get rid of the limited beliefs then yeah. the sky is the freaking limits right. okay let me give them a couple of mental notes since this is a biohack. And let me give you a couple of mental biohacks on how you can begin to ha- begin to manifest something like maybe going on a tour like this, whether it's with us or somebody else or just for yourself. Mm-hmm. The first thing is understanding that abundance is unlimited throughout the entire universe. That's number one. In other words, stop believing that there's limited access to abundance, mm-hmm. that you are already abundant. You have yes. to believe it in your heart, no matter what it looks like around you. Mm-hmm. No matter what it feels like, no matter what your bank account looks like, believe first that there is unlimited abundance because there is. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Number two, the next thing is understand what you want to do. What is it that you want to manifest? If it's a trip to Egypt, for example, you should have little books on Egypt. You know, if you can't buy the book, guess what? On the Internet, there's tens of thousands, if not millions of pages about ancient Egypt that you could begin to study. You can print them out. You can save them as your, your uh, screen saver on your cell phone or your computer, mm-hmm. right? You can think and dream, eat and, and think and speak about Egypt. And guess what's going to begin to happen? More information is going to start coming to you about ancient Egypt. Yes. More manifestation information, more links to getting access to more knowledge. Eventually, what's going to begin to happen is you're going to begin to find that the universe is going to send an opportunity your way. Whether it's a better job opportunity, Word. whether it's a uh, whether it's a, a new client, mm-hmm. whether it's a, 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 a raise at your current job, mm-hmm. a business opportunity, whatever it is, yeah. something is going to happen that you have to take advantage of. That's going to put you in a better position to be able to then begin to manifest that reality. Exactly. But it all starts with the belief first. Yeah, you have to clear out those negative thought patterns and those limited belief systems. Mm-hmm. I mean, we we unfortunately have been programmed with limited beliefs since we were born, right? Because nothing that is unseen is real, right? This yeah. is what we're taught since we're literally like baby, right? Yeah. So it's hard for us to deprogram and reprogram, but it takes work. Mm-hmm. It takes work. And like Billy was saying, start diving into information if you want to join something like if you look 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 on my back do you see what that is Mm -hmm. 
Like, this is a pyramid and a cat. I got this when I was 16 a years old. A pyramid and an Egyptian cat when she was 16. 16, I got this. I didn't really know anything back then. I wasn't conscious, but but I knew someday, somehow, I was going to get to see some pyramids. Mm -hmm. And guess what? I've been all through them things now. Yeah. <laughs> Going to, she went down one of the most incredible secret shafts of the Great Pyramid that yeah. she probably was the only woman so far to ever go down there in history. Deep. That's yeah. deep, you guys. Yeah. I was all the way down, 60 meters down in yeah. a tiny little box. And I was like, <laughs> I was going. Yeah. It was yeah. incredible. I couldn't even fit down there. I got most of the way down, but I couldn't fit to the deepest level that she got to. And she probably is the only, we're going to verify it too, because we know the person that can verify it. She probably was the, the first woman in history to ever go into that particular shaft yes. and to that depth. Yes. That's incredible. Yeah. That's incredible, right? But when I was 16, I didn't know who Billy Carson was. And I didn't know what, you know, even the the significance of what pyramids are, right? I knew nothing. But I just knew that I really wanted to go one day. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now it's like, I'm there. Because it's possible, right? It's possible. But you do have to start doing the work. You have to put in the effort. Because unfortunately, we do have these limited beliefs. And we are stuffed up with stress and trauma that create these negative thought patterns for mm -hmm. us and make us think that we're less than, right? Yeah. So you have to literally get those things out of mm -hmm. your system, out of your mind, out of your body, yeah. out of your soul. And then once you can clear all that away, you can manifest things like this. Mm -hmm. It's powerful. You can. You have, we have to be careful about what we think about. Yes. And something interesting, since we're talking on this Biohack Your Best Life podcast, mm -hmm. Muhammad Ibrahim, who's an archaeologist, and by the way, we just published his first book, yes. The Secret Technology of Ancient Egypt, which mm -hmm. is coming out very soon, just mm -hmm. a few days, actually. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be a bestseller, I guarantee it. Oh, yeah. But what's interesting with him, his, he, story. his story, he talked about when you go into these ancient sites, they're so energetic. Yeah. And he talked about the fact that they're so energetic that whatever you're thinking about, mm -hmm. While you're in there, the energy that you walk into mm -hmm. these ancient sites with, it gets magnified. Yes. If you walk in in a bad mood, mm -hmm. if you walk in with dark intentions, if you walk in there worried, frustrated, angry, right, that becomes magnified tenfold. Mm -hmm. If you walk in with a peaceful heart, a clean heart, a clear mind, mm -hmm. loving, understanding, uh, gracious, grateful, those frequencies, yes. that begins to get magnified. Yes. Right? Yes. And so it's understanding that these these sites can also enhance your life in a positive way, but also can another way become a mirror to show you who you truly are. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so mm -hmm. this is a place that everyone should, you know, find a way to see at one point or another if they can get a chance to go because life changing. Uh, it's a life changing experience. We, it really is life changing. We did a tour that was challenging, but still we made it as comfortable as possible. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Imagine watching the sunrise coming out of the east, leaning on the paw of the Sphinx. Of the Sphinx. <laughs> yes. Like, wow. Wow. Yeah. When I say life changing, life changing. Yeah. OK, so it is worth it. If this is what you want to do, you mm -hmm. know, what is your priority in life? Yeah. What do you want to manifest? If this is something that you want to manifest and you feel like you don't have the 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 tangible stuff around you to make it happen. Well, get rid of those limited beliefs and start manifesting it. Cause it is possible. Anybody could come on this trip with us. Mm -hmm. Anybody, yeah. anybody out there. So, I mean, anything is possible. We've and, had 80 year olds all the way down to oh, yeah. 20 year olds. Yes. Yes. And we're about to have our 11 year olds out here. Yes. <laughs> and he's yeah. going to be climbing through pyramids and mm -hmm. stuff. So that's amazing. Yeah. But what I wanted to say and talk about is a little bit of um, Muhammad's story. Mm -hmm. Our tour guides, uh, Muhammad Ibrahim, he's amazing. And speaking of manifestation of what a life you want to live, right? He knew from a very young age that he wanted to be a tour guide. Right. Very young age. But mm -hmm. he didn't have the resources. No. He didn't have the upbringing. He didn't have any of that at his fingertips. None of it. He manifested everything, mm -hmm. everything. And he came from like old town Egypt where yeah. no electricity, no like nothing. No, Pretty much nothing. No grocery store. I mean, no. And in the, the, there wasn't even farms close by that had things like fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. They only got those, I think, once a month. Mm hmm. Right. Yeah, once a month. And if you miss the line to get to it. Oh, no vegetables for you. Yeah, no yeah. cars. I mean, everything was against this guy. Yeah. Everything was against his success. But mm -hmm. guess what? Now he's the biggest tour guide in Egypt. Yeah, the biggest, like literally. Yeah, Nobody he got his own buses. Guy. He's about to get his own boats and planes. And I, I mean, I see the sky for him. Yeah, yeah. 
but he, but he believed in himself and he yes. believed in his in his um passion mm -hmm. and he he actually literally perfected his passion by working under others yes you know making that the foundation stone mm -hmm. knowing and understanding that his goal was to become his own uh guide and archaeologist yes and so he saved every spare penny he had besides taking care of his family and and you know your everyday life mm -hmm. every extra penny he had he put that uh, in a fund to help raise the money to begin uh start you know to start doing his own company become his own guide company yes and um he excelled at such an incredible rate. He's now the number one guide in all of Egypt. Yes. So all the people that have doubt in their minds, oh, I can't do this. It's too expensive or I don't have time or I don't, you know, just get that out of your head because you can do whatever you want to do. It's possible. It is literally possible. And we are living for that every single day, yeah. every yeah. single day. But yeah. it does take work. It takes hard work. Mm -hmm. You got to work on yourself. You got to address mm -hmm. your shadows. You got to see what mm -hmm. address the scary parts of yourself that are holding you back. Mm -hmm. Because once you do, and that clears out of your system, out of your mind, out of your thoughts, I mean, wow, literally the sky's the limit. Yeah. And it takes a lot of belief, mm -hmm. belief in yourself, belief in your abilities. And if yeah. you're not that good at something that you're passionate about it, you have to become an expert at that passion, which mm -hmm. means you got to go to work. Uh, Muhammad didn't uh, become the best guy because he didn't work at it. He no. had to go to archaeology classes. He had to yeah. he had to go to classes for learning how to be a tourism guide. You know, he had to he had to take all these classes and become an expert in those areas. Then he had to go do his own private research so he can bring a little something extra to the table. Yeah, something that the other guides won't and couldn't give. Right. That he is the only one that can do it because he took the extra time. Yes. He would spend extra time in museums and ancient sites with his wife mm -hmm. just to look and seek and gain more wisdom and gain more knowledge and look for the things that nobody else sees and put exactly. begin to put the pieces of the puzzle together exactly but again it's his passion but he's grinding on his passion to become the best he can to become the expert at it mm -hmm. and when you're building a business they, you know they always ask you in the business plan model what who's your competition and what's different about you than them like what do you bring to the table that they don't bring to the table what, what is your niche Mm -hmm. And his niche is sacred knowledge uh -huh. uh, based off of research and understanding and putting the pieces of the puzzle together in a way that is really like forbidden knowledge, which is why we love them and why we use them. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. You touched on a subject. I mean, it's, it's the extra effort, right? I mean, you have to stand out. If you want to stand out, right, you have to stand out. What are you going to do that's different than everybody else that you're doing, right? Mm -hmm. I literally took the during the, the whole sickness time, I took that time. What did I do? I didn't just sit on my butt and watch no. movies all day. I studied. I researched from day in to day out. I probably read about 200 books you during did. that time. I mean, I was like at it, at it, because I was gobbling up this information because I wanted to be the best at the craft that I, I do, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I spent that extra effort. I mean, these little these little micro moments, right? Just even changing one little thing, like with a morning routine, right? Wake up an hour earlier and get mm -hmm. an extra hour of the day for yourself to either research, read, meditate, work out, whatever it is that you do. That will set you apart from the everyday person. Mm -hmm. And those micro movements will create macro outcomes. Mm -hmm. And you're going to see and look back on your life like, wow, yeah. you've really excelled past the average person out here because right. you put in that little extra effort. Exactly. That's, that's the Mamba mentality. That yes. was, that's what Kobe Bryant preached. Mm -hmm. People were asking him, how did you get this good so soon? And he said, while everyone was sleeping, mm -hmm. while everyone was going out to clubs, while everyone was taking vacations with their family, he was in the gym. Yeah. He was in the gym, putting in extra time, extra mm -hmm. effort, after work, extra work. And so his skill set kept getting growing and growing while theirs was growing much slower. He was get growing exponentially mm -hmm. and he got to a point where they could never catch up to him mm -hmm. because of the amount of time and effort he put in. Mm -hmm. But again, he worked, he, he, he became a perfectionist at his passion mm -hmm. and it showed on the court. And um, obviously he was, became one of the greatest players to ever live, not yeah. the greatest, but one of the greatest. Um, but that's just an example to show you, like when you put the effort in and you uh, and like Elizabeth is saying, you can literally begin to, excel past and beyond the person another person that's doing the same thing exactly. just because they're not putting the extra in right exactly and and things i mean research is free guys i mean you can literally go to to different websites 
and dig into knowledge. It's free, right? We do these pop-up podcasts and Billy does his own podcast and I do my own podcast mm -hmm. and shows. These things are free guys. So you can dive into this information, get the information. You don't, you don't need to, it doesn't cost a penny. Mm -hmm. And then the biohacks that we teach on here, some, some things do cost money, but a lot of them yeah. don't. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of things that you can do out here. Tapping, um, meditation, um, walking meditations, you can do trauma release, you can do all of these different things, right, that don't cost any type of money, that can clear away some of this negative energy from you, yeah. and that can help you to manifest a better life. Like, it doesn't, you don't need out, outer resources to change your life, is what mm -hmm. I'm saying. You yeah. really don't. And that will help, that starts will begin within, to help within. you. Yes, yeah, starts within, and that will help begin to help you in other areas, like mm -hmm. manifesting. One thing that, you know, and I, we've all been guilty of this. We're not chastising anybody. No, no. What we're saying is like saying things like, I hope one day I can. Mm -hmm. One day I'm hoping I can go. Uh, I will. Yeah. Not even can. Just like I will. It. Yeah, changing just these micro little movements. I always catch you and you always catch me when mm -hmm. we're saying things that aren't in alignment of yes. what we're trying to create, right? Um, oh, I can't do that today because blah, blah, blah. No, yes, you can. Yeah. You can do whatever you want to mm -hmm. do. You know, we always try we catch to catch each, each other. other like that because yeah. words are powerful. Right. right? We catch each other. Mm -hmm. You know, we and we and that's, you know, that's one thing. And when you when she catches me, I don't have an ego. No, I'm like, oh, oh, yeah, you know what? You're right. Let me re let me let me fix it right now. Let me rephrase it at this exact moment. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and sometimes I catch my own self mm -hmm. and I turn myself away, away, away. Let me, let, me, let me rethink this and let me restate it mm -hmm. the proper way because we're casting spells on ourselves all day long yeah. and we don't even realize it. Exactly. Exactly. It's deep, guys. Yeah. It's freaking deep. So, I mean, long story short, I mean, you guys can do whatever you want to do in life. Mm -hmm. And if you want to come on a tour with us one day, it's possible you can do it. And I'll see you there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. And next year's Egypt tour is going to be even greater. Mm -hmm. We've added two days and we've added three days to the Nile cruise. So not, we're not be on the Nile for four days. We're going to be on the Nile for seven days. Mm -hmm. And then we've added three more days to the tour. Yeah, two more which, days. So which is incredible. Days. Takes a little bit of pressure off of, off of rushing through some of the sites. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and also it makes it a little bit more comfortable when you're on the cruise and you can relax yeah. on the rooftop yeah. and see the nature and see the Nile and the and the lushness of the mm -hmm. greenery oh, yeah. and the trees, the palm trees and the wild animals. Mm -hmm. So uh, it just eases the pressure from just sitting in a bus for three or four hours yeah. every time you get in the bus to go somewhere. So we've added the extra days on the bus, I mean, mm -hmm. on the boat and taken less days on the bus mm -hmm. uh, and added two extra days. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be really great. Um, and I'll be speaking again. I spoke uh, yeah. this time. Yep. Next year, I'll be speaking, and Elizabeth will, Elizabeth will be speaking as well, mm -hmm. and uh, Muhammad will be speaking also. So yeah. it's going to be like a mini conference. Yeah, a mini tour conference. You yeah. guys are going to get the knowledge. You get to ask questions. You get to literally, like, I mean, we really became family with these people. Like, yeah. I really took away and, and left this tour with some real friends, I feel mm -hmm. like. Yeah. Close yeah. ones. Close friends. Yeah. And, you know, some of them was incredible. They had different perspectives on things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they made me like, hmm, scratch my like, hmm, let me look into that. Yeah, yeah. Like, let me check this out. They asked me some questions that I had, I had never even considered some of these questions. Yes. It was so great and so refreshing to get uh, that information, you know, questioned to me mm -hmm. to, to make me ponder mm -hmm. a little bit and make me have to dig a little bit deeper, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. I love that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just, it's really great to be in such good energy. I mean, literally last year, just like this year, I mean, everyone was so cool, man. Mm -hmm. Like even, even Mohammed Ibrahim, the tour guy, he was like, wow, this group is one of the best groups that he's ever had. Ever. He said ever. Ever. Yeah. And he's been a tour guy for what? 30 years? 30 years. Shoot. Yes. 30 years. This was the best he's ever had. Yes. Yes. And I know he would have said the same thing about our, our group last year, too, yeah. because it was just the, the energy. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're all here for the same reason, right? Love, light, learning. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. And everybody's exactly. a little weird. Just like, I'm weird. You're yeah. weird. We're just yeah. a little, and it's a bunch of weirdos getting together. And it's like, <laughs> weird party. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I yeah. It. It's all good. And I know it's I know it's glitching a little bit for you guys mm -hmm. because we're out here in Egypt and the internet's not that great. It goes up and down. Yeah. Okay, so it does go up and down. So I'm sorry if we get a little foggy or we get a little glitchy. 
Um, you know, so we still at the end, at the end of the day, we're still in a third world country. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Some people are asking about the war. We have zero effect of the war other than the internet probably acting up. Mm -hmm. we're um, good. But we're Super good. good. Super yeah. good. Yeah. There's not, that's not even close to where we're at. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're, we're awesome. Mm -hmm. No problems. No. And then when we do travel, even before this war thing, yeah. we've got, we always have armed guard. We have armed military, armed police. Yes. We have armed guards on the buses. You know, we, everything, we take every precaution with the people that we bring on these tours long before this thing even happened. We do that all the time. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. we're, we're super good. Yeah, you're good. So I do want to bring up something that's really, really funny because so we were in Egypt two years ago around this time, around this time. And when we were in Egypt, we launched our first raise for the company. Yes. And that was like two, it was a little over two years ago. Mm -hmm. And guess what we did now when we're in Egypt? Yes. We just launched our raise again. Round three just went live. <laughs> the long awaited <laughs> round three for investors and forbidden yes. knowledge. Yes. It happened while we were in Egypt. In Egypt. In Egypt. And this has been a long time wait. Okay, you guys, we have been working so hard, okay, yeah. for a very, very, very long time yeah. to make this happen. Right. To relaunch and round three. It, or to launch round done. three. It is done. And it it's finally done. done. And it's live. It's active. It's all registered with the SEC. Yes. And FINRA, government agencies. And our financials are on the link that we're going to drop here in the comment box. All the financials, all the up, updated uh, audits and everything else are all done. If you're a current investor of Forbidden Knowledge and you're wondering where you, what's the status of your investment, go to this link and read all the updates there. Download the new financials, download the financial statement, download the audited financials, yes. download all the updates, download the new valuation. The valuation is now $50 million. Yes, and it went up from 30 from round two. Yes. Round one, it was $20 million. Round two, it was thirty million, and now we're at round three, and it is fifty, 50 million million dollars. Yes. And so you, your opportunity to invest again in forbidden knowledge is now open. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get shares. The shares were a dollar in round one, a dollar fifty in round two, and now they're two dollars and fifty cent in round three. Yes. So you see the trend moving in the right direction, yes. right? And we work endlessly. I mean, I mean, yeah. this was a lot, you guys. It's a lot of paperwork. It's a lot of. Uh, it's, oh I my mean, god! Every how many? Thing. How many lines was in that one sheet we had to answer? Oh my god! It was like four thousand. Yeah, almost four thousand. Four thousand lines with with. I'm talking like three dollars and thirty eight cents. Where did this come from? Like literally, it's so intricate, and it's yeah. just really us. Mm -hmm. It's really just us. Actually, yeah. it is just us. <laughs> well, the, you know, we don't give anybody just access to all the financials. Yeah. No, 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 no. So we want to make sure that, uh, you know, nobody's logging into the bank accounts and stuff. Yes. So we have to go through that line by line by yes. line. Well, we got it all done. We mm -hmm. had, we had all the other new information that was requested and so forth. We got all that done. All the background checks and everything else. Yes. Um, and it's all good to go, guys. We're live. And uh, you can know exciting. that Microsoft started off in the garage. Mm -hmm. Amazon started off in the garage. Mm -hmm. Apple started off in the garage when it was Macintosh, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. We're a company that's not starting in the garage. We're beyond the garage state. Yeah, yeah, because this is a, this is a, we're already making money. This company makes yeah. money. Okay. Right. This company already makes money and it's been making money for a long time. Yeah. So it's not like we're, we're garage status, mm -hmm. but I mean, we are headed, headed up, guys. Yes. <laughs> we are headed up. So. Absolutely. And so what's interesting is when you look at, um, you know, how companies like this work when you're in a, getting involved in a company that's in a private offering mm -hmm. that's looking to go public, it's a long term hold. So you buy shares, yes, and then when the company gets to NASDAQ or gets to the market, that's when you can take your exit, right? Okay, so that's how it works. This is a long term hold, guys. Yeah. It's not like you're gonna be overnight and be able to trade shares on the stock market right. overnight. This is not that, it's not that. Yeah. But the long term hold means longer, higher reward, exactly. in the end. right? Okay, so that's why we've opened this like and we've done it like this mm -hmm. so people can get in at a very, very low price. Mm -hmm. So when we do, which is our main goal, right? And yeah. we're we work until things happen. Okay. Mm -hmm. When we set a goal, it happens. Oh, it so, always happens. Yeah. So I'm going to literally work until like I freaking whatever. Our goal is to get to NASDAQ. Okay. But it is not going to happen overnight. So I, we have to keep reminding people that it's not going to happen overnight because, you know, the emails and where, what is happening, blah, blah, yeah. blah. Well, what is happening is that we are growing. Mm -hmm. 
we have put out more content, right? The the TV network has gotten bigger. Yep. We've gotten more subscribers. Yep. I mean, everything has kept going in the upward tra trajectory. So mm -hmm. everything is looking so good yeah. when we do yeah. this. And let's break down how the how Forbidden Knowledge actually generates revenue. First of all, last year's revenue, I believe it hit $6 million. Yeah. Now think about that. Six million last year. You could download these financials because they're registered with the SEC. Mm -hmm. The first year was 2017. The company made $150,000 the first year. Mm -hmm. So from 2017 to 2022, the company went from $150,000 gross revenue to $6 million gross revenue. That's pretty damn good. It's not bad. Not bad it's job. Not bad. Right? <laughs> now the way that Forbidden Knowledge generates revenue, just so you guys can know, and Elizabeth just dropped a link in the um, in the chat. You can go there and click the link and become an investor. The way that Forbidden Knowledge generates revenue is several different ways. The first way uh, is um, what well, we have our own TV network, mm -hmm. Forbidden Knowledge TV, right? That's a streaming TV network that actually creates a generates a residual income, which is vital for any business for longevity because that means every single month, no matter what happens, revenue is always going to come in. Mm -hmm. Right. And so we have our streaming TV revenue. And we're on Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Samsung TVs, uh, iOS App Store, Google Play Store and the web at 4BK.TV. Mm -hmm. That's generates generates a lot of revenue. Right. Our goal that we have set for next year this time is to be at 100,000 subscribers. Yes. OK. Yes. And at eight dollars and 88 cent per month, you do the math. It's not easy. To, it's not hard to find out what that revenue is per month. You're talking about between seven to eight hundred thousand a month if we hit that benchmark, which we always have done phenomenal at reaching our benchmark. We actually yes. have exceeded them. Oh, yeah. 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 We always do that. Right. <laughs> which is great. That. Yes. Another way we generate money is through book publishing. Right. Yes. You yes. want to explain that? Yes. Yes. So we have a book publishing company. We have one, two, three, three bestsellers, I believe. Right? Three bestsellers. Three bestsellers. Yes. Amazing. Um, and now we have uh, Billy has two books. I have two books. Billy's son, Justin, has a book. We have uh, Cruz has a book. And mm -hmm. your book, your third book, will be coming out very, very soon. Yep. Finishing Touches, guys. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Um, it had to be perfect. Epic of you humanity, can't, You yeah. can't put out something that's not perfect. So yeah. thank you so much for the people that have pre-ordered that book. Billy has been working endlessly, like tirelessly on yeah. this book, making it perfect, though. Him and mm -hmm. Matthew LaCroix. Yeah. So it's going to be freaking mind-blowing when it comes out. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. And yeah, we have Muhammad Ibrahim's book that is going to come out very, very soon. Yep. It's going to go up on presale shortly. And that one is going to be I would add a bestseller, too. I know. Oh, yeah, I for know. sure. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that book is going to be phenomenal. Yes. All right. yes it so is. it's just right now the images are being resized and the text is being formatted for book format. So it can go up on Amazon mm -hmm. and ForbiddenKnowledge.com. Yes. So book publishing revenue is, is very significant. And we can give you the numbers because you can download these numbers. Right now, book revenue is around fifty five to sixty thousand dollars a month just in book Pretty revenue. Mm -hmm. All right. Pretty good. When these other books come out, it's going to jump significantly. Yeah. Then another way that we generate money is by e-commerce. Yes, yes. E-commerce, which is super exciting. We just launched our clothing brand, Esoteric. Yes. And we have a ton of clothes already. Mm -hmm. um, we're about to launch the Esoteric, what, uh, um, your modern, like your your suits and stuff. Fashion like forward, fashion, fashion forward uh, yeah, gear. So yes. fashion forward business outfit. So fashion forward blazers, like the ones you see me guys wearing, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. The button downs, mm -hmm. uh, fashion forward uh, jeans that look like kind of like dress pants, but our jeans that are still slim fit. Uh, we even have socks, undershirts, underwear, and even the shoe. I've always had the shoes, but we're going to, we have more uh, variations of the shoes coming out. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, uh, workout outfits, yes. sweatsuits. Yes. I'm going to be launching the women's line guys. Yes. Cause I, I literally walk around in yoga pants mm -hmm. and like tank tops all day because I love, <laughs> I love how it feels and I love working out. So, um, that's going to be launching within the next couple of weeks, you mm -hmm. guys. So the woman's, um, you know, fitness line will yeah. be launching very soon. And then very exciting. We're going to launch a biohack line direct with forbidden knowledge, right? That's going to be everything biohack. So mm -hmm. the things that we talk about on biohack, your best life yeah. will be available for you guys to get mm -hmm. on forbidden knowledge. Exactly. So, Plus the existing yes. products that we've already had since mm -hmm. almost day number one yep. that are already on forbiddenknowledge.com. Yes. 
all the electronics and the technology and everything else that we have around mm -hmm. forbidden knowledge yes. as well. And we also have our quantum store open yes, now. Yes, we do have our quantum store, which I have so many of the products with us, so many mm -hmm. with us because we've needed them, right? Yeah. Especially the, the, the wine that structures water and makes water really healthy for you to drink, even if it has microplastics in it, even if you are drinking out of plastic. It really, really helps that water become very good for you, mm -hmm. right? Structures it and then takes out all the negative properties mm -hmm. in it. So that has been a lifesaver out here because yeah. you can only drink bottled water. Only. Yes. Yeah, very good. Let me answer this question real quick. Who wants to get the Forbidden TV app on Google TV? I don't think we're on Google TV. We're on Google Play. So if you go to your Google Play store, you can get the Forbidden Knowledge TV app. If you have an Android cell phone or Android tablet, if you have an Apple device, go to the iOS app store and get the Forbidden Knowledge TV app mm -hmm. uh, for that device. Or if you have Apple TV, go there and get it. So you can go to those locations to get it or just go to the web for BK.TV. Yes. Okay. Uh, also, so besides e-commerce and our regular product line, e-commerce is about one point seven to one point eight million dollars. Right. And then you have um, what, what other uh, we have in there? We have our music. Music. Yeah. Forbidden Knowledge is also a record label. Yeah. We actually have 340 songs in global distribution, which mm -hmm. generate a residual income every single month. Yeah. And some of those songs are licensed songs, licensed to other shows and documentaries and networks and everything else, which generates revenue every single month for Forbidden Knowledge. Exactly. So, you guys, I mean, we we have and Billy started, you know, he started this this business, this conglomeration of everything, right? Which is so unique because it's not just a one-stop shop. It's literally TV network, music, books, and they've all, and, you know, clothes, everything that feeds into consciousness, knowledge, awareness, optimizing who you are as a human being on this planet, right? So that's everything forbidden knowledge, mm -hmm. guys. I mean, it's so freaking cool. So this company is like just so many things in one, mm -hmm. so many things in one. Yeah, so, so it's not just me sitting on YouTube lives. No. But speaking of that, we also have YouTube revenue. Yes, we do. We have our podcast network, our mm -hmm. YouTube podcast network. We now have, let me see how many podcasts do we have, like seven? Six or seven podcasts or seven on the podcast podcasts. network, which generate revenue every single month. Yeah. We have three YouTube accounts, mm -hmm. right? Uh, this one has uh, almost at 700,000 subscribers. We have Forbidden Mine at 680,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. And we have Billy Carson official at almost 500,000 subscribers. Yes. Which all that revenue goes into Forbidden Knowledge Inc. Right. 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 Exactly. Um, and, there's, uh, and there's a few other channels that we have as well between uh, just, you know, how we generate revenue. Mm -hmm. I mean, we do workshops, we workshops. do conferences, we're yes. doing our movie theater tour next year, we're doing our women's tour next the Conscious year, Awards. the Conscious Awards weekends. We're doing, uh, you know, the conference in back in uh, the UK. We're doing that again. I mean, so much stuff. You know, we stay busy. We stay, stay busy. busy. All this is going into forbidden knowledge. Yes. All of it. Every penny of it goes. Into forbidden knowledge. Exactly. So that what that does, it continues to build a company. All my TV appearances, mm -hmm. all that goes to forbidden knowledge. And so what you're investing is you're investing and you're investing in the opportunity to earn and learn. Yeah. As you invest in this and you wait and be patient till this company hits NASDAQ. That'll be your exit strategy, right? You can hold some shares and sell some, or you can sell them all or keep them all, however you want. It's up to you at that point. Mm -hmm. But you would take your shareholders agreement to your brokerage firm, Charles Schwab, TD Ameritrade, Robinhood, whoever you use as your broker, and you give them uh, your, your paper shares, right? Mm -hmm. Your certificate of information. They will then convert that into digital uh, shares that then now in your digital app account yes. or your online account, which you can then trade on the open market. That's how it works. Okay. So, you, you're now understanding how private corporations raise money from investors and how those investors get an exit mm -hmm. at some point in the near future. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So, I mean, it's, it's a risk. You know, we're not financial advisors, no. so we can't tell you you're going to win off of this. But what we can tell you is that we work day in and day out to make dreams come true. OK, guys. Yeah. And uh, I think that our track re record has been pretty. It uh, speaks for solid. itself. It okay. speaks for itself. Everybody Solid. says, they're not going to do this, then, they, then we do then it. Then we do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're not really going to do it. Yeah, then we, then do, we it. do it. And it's successful. And we do it in a big way. You know, people laughed at us when we said we were going to do the conscious work. Oh, they, they laughed. laughed at us. They laughed. They laughed at us. People told me we wouldn't be able to do it, that yeah. it wouldn't work. That it wouldn't work. 
Yeah, yeah. no one's going to show up. No one's going to do that. No one's going to blah, blah, blah. People literally laughed at us. 1,200 people came from all around the world. A world. The world. The world. And yeah. it was a beautiful, beautiful event. Yeah. And next year, it's going to be 2,500 people. Yeah, it's going to be 2,500 2, people. And it's going to be a whole weekend. We're yeah. going to drop all this information for you guys. I yeah. mean, like, I really find, you know, you and me are a pretty good team. Mm -hmm. And we literally... We feed off each other. What yeah. you lack, I have. What I lack, you have. Yep. So it's like, get together, we're unstoppable. Mm -hmm. Literally. Unstoppable. Yeah. And uh, we love the challenges when people say they don't work. It. Tell me it's not going to work. Yeah. Tell me we I can't do it. it. Please it. tell me I can't do it. Please. All we do is keep building and showing. And the best revenge yeah. is success. Success. That's and we just keep, is. we're only in competition with ourselves. Nobody yeah. else. I don't want to be better than nobody except for myself from yesterday. Yes. Okay. We That's have our own, we thing. have our own internal benchmarks. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. And we go back and we review them. Yes, we do. And we analyze them. And we put plans in place to work those mm -hmm. benchmarks to make sure we hit those goals. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And I mean, a lot of people, even on this tour, they were like, oh my God. They were like, you're <laughs> doing another tour after this. They were so tired. They you were, know? They were so wasted. Worn out. I had worn to do the Great out. Pyramid twice in one night. Yes, we did twice. We went Both up the Grand, us. yes, two times. And we went down the little shaft too, twice. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, whatever. But we... You know, it's like you can manifest and do whatever you want in the yeah. world, okay? Because we, what was Tandalin? One of the one of the tour people was said that we're um, galactic superheroes. Said, well, you guys are galactic superheroes. She's I don't, like, I don't how y'all doing this? She's like, I don't even understand. <laughs> she witnessed all. it. She was like, because he's we just did an excruciating day of maybe ten miles, right? Yeah. 11. In the desert, 11 mm -hmm. miles. Mm -hmm. And then we came back and we, we were on the top deck on the Work ship out. working out with weights and dumbbells and push-ups and yes. abs and everything. And they're like, yes. they're looking at us like, what the hell <laughs> yeah. is going on here? How do you guys even have the energy to do anything besides drink water? Mm -hmm. You know, but that's what it takes. It takes that kind of, um, that type of internal combustion that you got to have. Well, belief. It's yeah. beliefs, you know, like I literally, I don't really have limited beliefs. Mm -hmm. I believe I can make anything happen. Mm -hmm. I think that you feel the same way. Yeah. So especially when two people that think that anything, they can do anything and mm -hmm. get together. I mean, the world is like our playground, yeah. right? right? It's like just a game to me. It's like, oh, what's that challenge? I'm going to accomplish that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I, I'm scared of that. I'm going to go. That's how that. I do it. People say, how'd you get into music? I was like, well, my brain told me one day just. Try to become a producer because music should be something you're doing. Mm -hmm. I said, wow. Well, so when I when I get those internal thoughts, yeah, I go, okay, let me do it. Let me go buy just the machine. Right. Just do it. Just and first it sounds like boop, 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 boop. Then thing you know, I'm producing <laughs> songs. Next thing you know, I'm on Billboard. Yeah. Just anything like that. is possible. Yeah. Because anything is possible, right? I mean, we've done a lot of work on ourselves to make it possible to, yeah. to get rid of the, the negative thought patterns and the limited beliefs about ourselves. I mean... It's it's full love and and just optimization, mm -hmm. right? Literally, the world is my playground. Like I yeah. love it. Like I yeah. love challenges. I love fear. Yeah. I I go into I go over that shit. You mm -hmm. know, I go into yeah. it. That's right. It's, it's exciting. <laughs> it's exciting. And when you live like that, right? When you take care of your mind, when you take care of your body, when you take care of your soul, then you have endless energy, and mm -hmm. you can make anything happen. You can make it happen. Literally, we. We do this stuff every single day yeah. and we make these things happen all yeah. the time. I mean, our next year is full already. We have no time to do anything else next year. We're booked till 2025. Yeah, it's already planned. It's already done. Yeah, all booked. So. Yeah. Completely. <laughs> We're Completely. Plan our plans are... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants to get the link to the um, 2024 tour of egypt yes yes i will drop that right now and you know guys we're going to turkey next year too so mm -hmm. that is also on our website so you guys can look um on our website forbiddenknowledge.com and go to tours and you'll be able to see the both tours there yeah um turkey and egypt turkey and egypt turkey yes. is going to be amazing too you have darren kuyu an underground base built yeah. in ancient times to hold thirty thousand people mm -hmm. so they can survive a disaster or a war or whatever they need, needed to survive mm -hmm. they were hiding from something mm -hmm. and then you have gobekli tepe which which pushes the date back for how old uh advanced civilizations are yeah. right to around the ice age and then you have Karahan Tepe. Mm -hmm. Just so many amazing places throughout Turkey that we're going to go. It's really the origins of a lot of this stuff. And mm -hmm. both, a.k.a. Tehuti, Jehuti, Dehuti, is there at Gobekli Tepe. Ooh. So I'm looking to document this and uh, 
I'm, I'm really excited about this trip because that tour is going to be mind blowing. Mm -hmm. It'll be my first time and your first time going there. Yes, yeah, so exciting. Right? There's and, not many uh, places in the world that he hasn't been to, so right. I'm excited about this. <laughs> so I'm excited about it. I'm, we, we've been trying to get to this place for a while, but oh, then yeah. the earthquake came. Yeah, yeah. So right. it was like, we were supposed oh, man. to go last year. We were supposed to go. They had to cancel it. Mm -hmm. But now we're getting a chance to go. And uh, some of this footage will be used in the new TV series for mm -hmm. Anunnaki history. Yep. So, yeah. It's All so, right, so, so exciting. Elizabeth did drop the link. She yeah. dropped the link in the chat for you. If you're interested in the 2024 Egypt tour, we've been dropping the link uh, for the, if you want to become an investor in round three. If you're saying to yourself, you know, I don't have a big reach like Forbidden Knowledge, but I want to be able to teach the world and I want to be able to be involved in helping raise consciousness on the planet, yes. become an investor. Yes, right. Be because the you're, then, you're you're, then you're part owner and family of Forbidden Knowledge. And whatever we do, it's the same thing as you're doing it. It's the same freaking thing. That's, that's why we're not trying to brag about anything yeah. because I know there are a ton of people on this live right now that have already invested in Forbidden Knowledge. Yeah. So you are a part owner of this, of yeah. everything that is being built. Mm -hmm. So thanks to you guys, we're able to build like we have. Literally, yeah. literally. These raises help fund a lot of the projects that we are involved yes. in. A lot of them. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, I mean, you guys are part of the reasons that Forbidden Knowledge has been going up That's like right. this. Absolutely. And just for the people who, who, like I said, the financials are available. You'll notice when you download those financials, mm -hmm. you'll, find, you'll see that that I don't take an income from the company. Mm -hmm. Now that's going to have to change. I'll have to eventually take an income because you can't go to NASDAQ without the CEO or the president of the company not taking an income. But that just shows you the level of dedication that I've had that we literally reinvest my income back into the company. How do I make money to eat? Well, I have many other ways that I can generate income for myself, fortunately. But, but you'll see that. So you're talking about two people that are totally wholly invested into into building this and making sure that it, is, that it succeeds because it will. Uh, and we do that to make sure that the company can grow at an exponential rate as well. Mm -hmm. Exactly. If I sit here and take all the profit out of the company, then it's going to slow it. The, the growth is going to slow down. Mm -hmm. So for people who are thinking, well, they're just trying to live off of my money. Well, actually not. I'm not no. living off of any of your money. No, actually, <laughs> we, we've made a lot of sacrifices. A lot of guys. sacrifices. A lot of sacrifices. Uh, Yes, a lot of stuff. Sometimes Elizabeth doesn't even take home a paycheck, not because the company's suffering, but because we want this thing to continue to grow at a particular pace. Exactly. We have benchmarks and goals that we want to hit. Mm -hmm. So fortunately for us, we have other ways that we can generate some revenue. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, I mean, it's all, it's all good, guys. I mean, we are we are going up. You know, we mm -hmm. are, will continue. We yeah. will continue. We accomplish our goals. And thank you guys for your love and support because the main reason, I mean, it's energetic, too. It's literally energetic. So once you do invest, that's an energy tie to everything that we're doing. You're tied energetically to us. Mm -hmm. I can feel all of you. I really yeah. can, you know. Shout out to Courtney. I love you. I love Courtney's you, Courtney. in the house. What's up, Courtney? Mm -hmm. Kane size. Make sure you watch her podcast. Yes. All right. Her podcast is getting very, very popular yes, on the Forbidden is. Knowledge YouTube channel. Yes. It's getting very popular. Mm -hmm. Courtney's a special one, man. Yeah. She she's she's special. That's very all talented I gotta say. Woman. She's been my spiritual advisor, guys, for um a decade. So yeah. Yeah, she's she's yeah. seen it all, heard it all, and helped me through it. So yeah, she, did, she did an amazing job when we had our big conference in oh the UK my God, a few months did. ago. She did. Yes, yeah. yes, she did. She's gonna be part of the women's tour next year, guys. Guess I am launching a women's tour. Yeah. So it'll be right next to Billy's Anunnaki um, premieres, which is movie theater premieres. Um, there will be either the day before or the day after. It's going to be a women's empowerment group. Mm -hmm. And we will be teaching. Courtney's going to be one of the speakers. Yes. We're so freaking excited for that because yeah. I really want I want women to step in their power, step mm -hmm. into their power. I feel like we've been suppressed for a very, very long time. I'm not talking about any type of, you know, I'm not talking about any type of um, like, what what is it called? The feminist movements, mm -hmm. you know, that women are better. No, 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 no. It's nothing about that. It's 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 let's stand in our power, yeah. women, right? Because we do, we have it in us, but we've been suppressed for so long that we've forgotten our power, mm -hmm. right? So I really wanted to bring women together to teach women how to really stand in their power, stand in their feminine energy, and also stand in their masculine energy because mm -hmm. we have both, right? Exactly. As above, so below. Yes. Yin and yang. We have it all. Okay, guys? So, yeah. yeah. Loving yeah. it. Loving it. Mm -hmm. So, yes, make sure you check out our podcast. It's gonna be in a, next year's going to be mind-blowing with yes. the stuff that we have. With all the – what are we going to do? 
all the Anunnaki TV episodes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Will, be, will be released one at a time, yes. a different episode in a different regal cinema mm -hmm. in a different state. Yes. And each one will be treated like a movie premiere, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So we'll be doing like a red carpet. Yeah. It'll be, we'll be dressed up nice. Mm -hmm. And I'll be speaking for an hour. Mm -hmm. We're going to show the, the episode as like on the movie production scale mm -hmm. and, and all that. It's going to be phenomenal. Q and A. Uh, so we're going to go to every, you know, every state, but you know, for every episode, there'll be a different state mm -hmm. and a different episode being released at Regal Cinemas yes. with the exception of Detroit, which will be at, what's the name of the Imagine, cinema? The Imagine, Imagine Theater, yeah. which is amazing. It is amazing. Same yeah. place that we premiered the Black Knight Satellite. We'll yeah. be right back there. Every single month we'll be in a different state. Yeah. So it's going to be freaking amazing. Mm -hmm. And let me just reiterate, it's not about, I saw some, like a feminist extre extremism. No, no, it's not that. It's not, I'm not trying to say women are, are better than men and no. blah, blah, blah. We, I'm not trying to dog out no. men, not at all. Not at all. She doesn't do that. She's no, talking no, about I don't. I don't. letting women reclaim their power. Their power. Because if you look at this world, right, that's ran by mostly masculine energy right now, you see what's happening. And it's, I don't even want to address it because the balance just, is off. Yes, the balance is off. Let me just say this. If this world were run mostly by women, there wouldn't be that many wars. No, there wouldn't because women don't want to just get up and start fighting people every day. That's not in our energy to want to do that. We want to nurture. We want to love. We want, to, you know, intuition and to, to receive and just... Just be, you know, a family. Let me tell you what happened in ancient Egypt. Queen, I want to call her a queen, but she really was a king. Yeah, Hapchetsit. Hapchetsit. She, Hapchetsit. You can say hot chicken hap soup. <laughs> hot chicken soup is the yes. easy way to say it. Yes. But Hapchetsit. So Hapchetsit, mm -hmm. she became a pharaoh mm -hmm. and ruled as a man, even though she was a woman. She got away with it because she was able to convince the people that yeah, yeah. she had a direct lineage to one of the Anunnaki gods. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. And But when she ruled over the land of Egypt or Kemet for 20 years, mm -hmm. the country grew in leaps and bounds. Mm -hmm. Right? The wars reduced. Yeah. But when they did have a war, she won. Mm -hmm. When there was strategic. something that they had to strategic. strategic. When they had to fight, they won those wars. Yes. But agriculture was developed. Mm -hmm. uh, other other uh, e economic systems were put in place. Mm -hmm. Education increased. Yes. Arts and crafts increased. Yes. People, be, are, are, people were able to explore more. More creative. I'm sorry, but naturally. This is just our natural divine powers yeah. that we're here blessed with, right? Yeah. Women are more intuitive, mm -hmm. right? Women are more in our creative energy and our more nurturing energy mm -hmm. and uh, the beauty of the world, right? I mean, you can see that where we're at right now is really ran by masculine energy there's no flowers there's no color it's not pretty you know it's everything not... here is one color yes. brown yes and, and it's the dirt everywhere the suppression of the divine feminine out here is real and it's, it's heartbreaking real. all these Heart women are walking around in a full black curtain and all you can see is the eyeballs barely and some of them put glasses on so you can't even see the eyeballs breaking and they don't have right. any rights they can't say anything back no. they, their husbands can their husbands so get to sad. eat all the food then they leave the scraps. The scraps for the wife to come eat. So yeah. you see the full oppression of the feminine energy here. And the effect of it is this place looks like a giant bachelor pad. Cairo, Egypt it's is a whole. Organized. It's not it's organized. It's not organized. There's a lot of crime. There's a lot of just, it's just not. They need feminine energy. The balance is off. The it's too much. You can have to have masculine energy, yes. but you also have to have a balance with the mm -hmm. feminine energy. So mm -hmm. um, she's going to help uh, women find a way to reclaim and help to bring, begin to bring back the balance. The balance, exactly. And that's in support of the man, right? It's in support of the man. No matter what, I, I stay in tune with what I feel is right between the balance, right? Who is the head of the household? That's him, right? Who really makes the final decision at the end of the day? That's that's him. That's the leader of the household, right? He's there to protect and provide. So I have to nurture that, support that, and you know, be there for that. But that's me standing in my own divine feminine energy, right? Mm -hmm. With power. Because at the end of the day, I mean, we really are the ones in the background, mm -hmm. right? That make the man make the decision, right? So we're the ones doing the little strings mm -hmm. to make the man make that good, solid decision yeah. at the end of the day. But behind every strong man is a good woman. Yeah. You know, in most cases. Yeah. And, um, and you look back in history as some of the greatest leaders, some of the greatest businessmen and mm -hmm. so forth mm -hmm. you know some of the most some of the most powerful thought leaders yes they always have a good woman by their side yeah 
And uh, but that woman also has power. She's a powerful woman. She's not just a woman that's just standing there like a puppet. She's also got her own power. Mm -hmm. And that power influences the man. Yeah. Let me just talk real quick about Noha. Mm -hmm. I mean, Muhammad's wife is the CEO of his tour company. And which is rare, rare out, here out here in this in this Super area. Rare. Very, very rare. I mean, in this, she, first of all, led with power, mm -hmm. right? Power. But she was so soft-spoken, mm -hmm. so gentle, so nice. Every single morning, hey, good friend, giving me hugs. And mm -hmm. I mean, just in her divine feminine energy, I so admire that. Mm -hmm. And then the way that they have their business running, it's flawless. Yeah. Okay? Freaking flawless mm -hmm. because they have that fine balance. She told Muhammad... We're buying our own buses. She says, no, we don't need. She said, we are buying our own buses. And she went and got yeah. those buses, buses, two gigantic Mercedes Benz yes. tour buses. Yes. Right. Exactly. And he's like, she's responsible for this. So you see behind him, the best tour guide in Egypt yeah. is a powerful woman mm -hmm. that's in her, walking in her divine power. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So that's all that's about. So I'm yeah. so excited to meet with you women out here next year and and really just impart the wisdom because mm -hmm. I feel like like we all have this. I'm not, I'm sorry, not even impart. I'm I want you guys, the women out there to discover your power within, mm -hmm. right? I don't need to tell you anything, but mm -hmm. I'm going to help you reach within to pull your power back out because it's been mm -hmm. taken yes, away. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. hey, just a lot of great stuff. We've been dropping some links in the chat. Drop a link to the yes. investment opportunity one more time. We have to head to the airport uh, to go pick up our sons. Yes. Because so our exciting. sons have just arrived in Egypt. It's amazing. I know. I'm so super, excited. Super amazing. Yeah. Super amazing. Oh, yes. And this is a scare. Bee. Isn't it so beautiful? Mm -hmm. Billy got this for me out here. That was a little gift for her. It's so beautiful i was like what is that i saw it in the window i was like yeah. oh my god <laughs> he was like let's go look at it as soon as i saw it i said as soon as i saw it and you, your eyes lit up i said i'm buying it for you oh my god i was like hey. she's like don't buy it i'm like i'm buying this too oh. i'm getting <laughs> it for do you it. don't do it yeah. Ooh, he did but i yeah, yeah. thanks it's beautiful mm -hmm. so yeah anyways we're out here living our best lives guys yeah. everyone can live their best lives we teach it all the time so that's yeah. it and uh don't forget Forbidden Tour of Egypt 2024, mm -hmm. Forbidden Tour of Turkey 2024. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can invest, you can earn and learn with yeah. Forbidden Knowledge. Go to the link we dropped in the chat. It's also in the caption of this video. So mm -hmm. check out the caption of this video. If you're listening to this audio somewhere, go to the caption of this audio file and make sure you find a way to impact the world. Yeah. You can impact the world by becoming an investor in forbidden knowledge. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I'm going to drop the link one more time for you guys before we get out of here. And yes, I, um, I'm so excited to jump back on here in a couple of days. I think mm -hmm. we'll be able to go live more often. We have some steady Wi-Fi right now, so yeah. we'll be good. We'll be able to go live. Yeah. Finally got some steady Wi-Fi. I got to mm -hmm. go. I'll be back on tonight. I'll go live on oh, Instagram yeah. at 830. Yeah. With the Ben Sario, 830 Eastern Standard Time for yeah. you guys in America. Yes. And then I got to stay up from, that's 3.30 a.m. here. Then I got to go up 4 a.m. here. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be on Black Magic 363 YouTube account yeah. uh, talking about, you know, divine energy and, and consciousness and everything else. Whatever questions he has for me, I don't know. you never know what he's going to ask you. I know. <laughs> but I'll be on uh, Richard Merritt Show Black Magic 363 YouTube account at 9 p.m. Eastern, which is 4 a.m. here. Yes. Yes, so Billy's going to have a busy night. Busy night. Yeah. <laughs> and now we got to drive an hour to get to the airport and an hour back, so that's two hours gone. Pick up our babies. Yes. I'm so excited. Yeah. Okay, guys. All right, well, thank you for joining us tonight. We appreciate you all. I loved all the beautiful comments. Um, I love all you guys. You guys are really what fills us up and drives us to do this type of stuff, so thank you. And, yeah, we'll be back. We'll be back soon. Love y'all. Peace. Third I love. Peace.